Hey, welcome back. I'm Chris, and well, today we're going to do a little bit of a lock picking challenge. Let's do this real quick. So let's throw four minutes and 44 seconds on the clock and go. Now, I did do a lock picking challenge uh, maybe about a year ago or so, where I had four minutes and 44 seconds on the clock, and I raked all these master locks instead of single pin picking them, just because I started lock picking maybe 18 years ago and I learned to rake before I could single pin pick. And I'm not the best at single pin picking, that's for sure. So uh, getting through these locks, I know I'm not gonna get through nearly as many as I did while raking these locks. I'll be lucky if I can get through one of them while single pin picking. It, it's just the way it is. I'm not that great at single pin picking. And I mean, in one respect too, I learned to single pin pick better picking American locks, or rather picking uh, higher security locks where they have, you know, serrated key pins, serrated top pins, spool pins, serrated spool pins, and all that stuff. Because, well, you kind of need to single pin pick those locks. And it, it, it was just an easier way to open those, and it did take me quite a while. It's, a, it's quite a bit of feel, and to really know what you're feeling with these locks when you're getting feedback on them. And that's another thing too, it, it's hard for me to explain, well, you know what, I feel this and I'm on pin number three and that one's binding or pin number four is picked and pin number two is still, I can't really, I don't feel that stuff when I'm in the lock. I, I mean, I can tell which one needs to go up, which one, you know, but for me to actually verbalize that, it's a little bit harder and there are some really good lock picking YouTube channels out there where they can easily verbalize that stuff. And it's fun to watch them pick, you know, 11 locks in a row, 11, you know, high security locks in a row and stuff like that. But uh, I'm not quite there yet where I can do that. You know, I'll be lucky if I get any more done. Who knows? We'll see. I mean, I might surprise myself, but I know I'm going a lot slower if I compare when I did this raking these locks. But like I said, I, I learned to rake before I could pick. And it's just, it's a different style of, I mean, the end result is opening a lock, <clears throat> opening a lock, right? And it's not like I'm doing this for competition. This is purely just kind of a hobby because, well, I started with those uh, puzzles, those steel puzzles and stuff like that and, and such. And, well, you got to figure those out. And a lock was just, well, another puzzle for me to pick, or another puzzle for me to solve. And if you watch my vlogs, I've explained this slightly before on why I enjoy lock picking and such and how I got into it. It's no different now. And honestly, I haven't really practiced picking locks in quite some time. It's probably been a uh, good, almost a year. It was probably last winter when I really, really went into picking locks and really started to, that one's still locked, really started to try to open those American locks, you know, the higher security locks, like I said, and I had a lot of fun a lot of fun working on those so i really should get back into that and and hop into it and then well yeah if you if you ask for a single pin pick video uh, a challenge video of how many american locks i can open or higher security locks i can open uh, like i said i'll be lucky if i can open one of those locks it's probably not going to happen whatsoever but you know it might just turn into a, a pick and a gut video to just kind of it, it's fun to see when you get those locks open i see for some reason I'm having a hard time with some of these master locks, which is kind of silly to me, but it might just be the, the bidding of the keys that I can't get I can't get in there. So it's always if I had to do a challenge video on these. Or I mean rather if I if I had to do a competition on these, I could not single pin pick them to save my life to win a competition, that's for sure. If you could pick any style of how to open it and have your choice of picks here that you can swap between, well, it's a different story, but I really don't know what the rules are on that stuff. And if you pick up a lock, do you have to get it, or can you do what I'm doing now, where it's like putting down the lock because I'm going for volume more than I am, can I open it? I have picked all of these locks before, but I'm not going to be able to pick them all today. It looks like my number might be four locks, because unless I get this in the next two seconds, ah, that's it, we're done. All right, there you go. Four locks picked in four minutes and 44 seconds. Single pin picked. 
nothing to brag about or write home about, so I clearly need to practice a bit more. And like I said, I'm not the great at single pin picking. I can rake these locks, I can open locks. It's just, I'm not good at a competition standpoint. I can make a video about it. I could probably teach you how to do it. In fact, check out some of my other lock picking videos and such. And well, you know what? I'll see you on the next one.